the proof of God, or whatever you want to call it, God. Say, look, we look for proof. And, I, and you're entitled to that. What, what, what would you say if I had the power to come down to you and say, look, Norma, Al, I'm going to give you a piece of paper. You've seen this done in Atlantic City, but I mean, this is real stuff. I'm going to give you a piece of paper with something written on it. Okay? You hold that. Hold it close to you. And then I'll make something happen in the sky over your head. And you put them both on a piece of paper the same size, and one will fit perfectly with the other. Is that good? I mean, I'll, here's, the, here, here's, here's the paper. You keep that. And I'm going to make something happen in the sky. And I'll tell you. You know, tell you when it's going to happen. Okay. That should be, that should be, that should be fairly good, good proof. Because... To me, unless anybody wants to provide you for proof and documentation, I mean, I wouldn't pay any attention to it. But here's a, here's a thing that we should demand proof. I mean, if to say to God, God, you're, you know, you've got a bad name, you've got a bad rap down here, you're going to blow up everybody and you're killing everybody, and I mean, I'm not too happy with your whole plan. Uh, you got proof? Let's say it. Put it up or shut up, God. You get out of here. Don't bother me. So can we find proof of the existence of God or at least an intelligence that lies beyond the realm of our understanding? Is there anything? Let us do this little study then. I'll be God. <laughs> if I'm God and I look at you and say, all right, all of you angles of light sitting here, I'm going to provide you with a diagram. And this diagram is yours to keep. And I want you to keep the diagram in a very safe place. Because when the time is ready, I'm going to make something happen in the sky. At that point, you will have evolved to a point of understanding. So you'll take the picture of what goes on in the sky, and you'll connect it to the diagram that I'm going to give you now. In the time of Uranus, father of the Cyclops, power of the single eye, I will place this eye in the sky. And when you take a picture of that eye, it will perfectly fit the diagram that I'm giving you now. Will that be proof? And if I was to tell you that, if I was to come down and I was to say to you, Mike, I'll give it to you, and you've got it on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and then I'll make something happen in the sky. And what I make happen in the sky will fit exactly there, and that pattern will be exact. And you say, well, that's all I want. Just do that one thing, and I'll believe you. All right. Okay. Would the uh, little angles come up and distribute <laughs> as quickly as you can? Now this is this is the diagram. <laughs> this is the diagram that I want you to hold, because after you have this diagram, now remember, this this nothing's happened here. We don't know anything. This is a nut giving diagrams out to people. In this basement, in the fork and river, whoever heard it. So he's giving diagrams out to the crazy guy. He's giving diagrams out to people. Right? But what I'm saying to you is something is going to happen in the sky. Would you and your little <laughs> angles give out the diagram? <laughs> and then, Joan, after you give them out, I want you to share it with the people on television. Now, each of you can take that home with you. How do you like that? That diagram was created a couple of thousand years ago, or a thousand years ago in Greece, and it's known as the Harmony of Apollo. And everybody on television will show you the diagram in just a moment. All right? Now, isn't that good? Now, the point is to remember that that diagram was made 2,000, or 1,000, 2,000 years ago. Joan, would you please show the diagram to the people on television? All right. You, yeah, a piece of white paper behind it, and, and they'll be able to see it, okay? That's the diagram. Now, what's, this is what I want you to keep in mind. You've got the diagram, and you're putting it in your dresser drawer, and you're going to wait then for something to happen in the sky to see if, you know, this diagram comes through. This diagram was put together by the Greeks about 2,000 years ago. You got that? Uh, okay, fine. All right. Now the time comes, and you, and you get to the age of Aquarius. 
Now remember, you've got the diagram, you get to the age of Aquarius, and you start looking at all the things we've been talking about today, about Eurydice and all that stuff. This is the time. And then you start looking at each other, and you say, hey, you remember when that guy called himself God came down here, and he gave us his pee? What the heck is this? I've been waiting for 2,000 years. This guy is a fuckakta. I don't say nothing. What is this all about? Show me something. What can he, you know, I think he's crazy. I think he's one of those religious right-wingers or something. He's trying to do some crazy business, you know? So you're sitting with this thing in your drawer, and all of a sudden, something happens. Here comes something on National Geographic. And the little angel girls get up again, and they're flittering all over the place, handing this one out. Okay? And there they go, circling around, and they're giving it. And, and, and now something has happened in the sky. And now we're going to take the diagram that was made 2,000 years ago, and we're going to see if it fits. And what do you know? It fits perfectly. Right when it was supposed to. In the age of Aquarius, during the reign of Uranus and the Cyclops, it fits perfectly. Okay? And so, so, so then we have to say, you know, wait a minute here. Maybe, maybe we got proof. I don't know what else the guy could do. He gave you the diagram. Then he made this celestial thing happen in the sky. He told you when it was going to happen, when the Son of Man would come and Pegasus and all this business, and there it is. Okay? So now, now you, have to, you, you have to say to yourself, it looks good. It looks like we have proof here. Joan, would you show the people on television and then show them the overlay there? Okay? Now, if indeed we have been put on notice this is the diagram of the all-consuming eye to be seen in the sky. You now have in your hands proof, don't you? I don't know what else. I mean, tell me. Is it, some, is it indicative of some kind of proof? Of course it could be a coincidence. But if it's not a coincidence, then you have an intelligence who gave us in advance a diagram of something that was going to happen in the sky near the year 2000, and you've got it. Okay? 